good day. In this video, I am going to perform the head-to-toe assessment or also known as cephalocaudal assessment. So first thing that we need to do, we should prepare all the necessary equipment that we are going to use all throughout the procedure. Next, provide patient some privacy. Third is perform hand hygiene and lastly, introduce yourself to the patient and explain to the patient all the procedure that you are going to do. The sequence of method that we are going to use in each procedure is IPPA or inspection, palpation, percussion, and lastly, auscultation. But when we are going to assess the patient's abdomen, it's interchange. It's inspection, auscultation, percussion, and lastly, palpation. These are the available equipment I have, so I am preparing it first. Closing the door for privacy. Disinfecting my hands. And lastly, introducing myself Hello, to the patient. Today. I am Rayan Boras and I am your student nurse for today. So today, I am going to perform a head-to-toe assessment where I'll be um, touching some of your body parts. Is that okay with you, ma'am? Yes. Thank you. So now, I am inspecting patient's general skin coloration for color variations for any signs of lesions, skin breakdowns, and at the same time, inspecting for foul odor. Now I am palpating to assess the skin texture. Pinching the skin to assess the mobility and skin turgor. So now let's proceed to the scalp and hair. I am inspecting for the general color and condition. And after that, I am inspecting for the amount and distribution of the scalp, body, axillae, hair. Next is the nails. I am inspecting for the nail grooming, the cleanliness, the color and markings, and also the shape of the nails. So now let's proceed to palpation. I am palpating the nails to assess the texture and the consistency and also for the capillary refill. Head and neck assessment. I'm inspecting for the size, shape, and configuration and for the involuntary movements. This time I am palpating the temporal artery. Next, I am palpating the temporomandibular joint or TMJ. Now I am inspecting for the neck, observing the client's slightly extended neck for position, symmetry, and lumps or masses. Assessing the movement of the neck structure, I ask the client to swallow a small sip of water and assess the movement of thyroid cartilage and thyroid gland. To assess the range of motion, I ask the client to turn the chin to the right and left, down and up. This is done to assess if the trachea is in midline. Now I am doing a posterior approach to palpate the thyroid. This is done only if you can see a enlarge of the thyroid part. So now let's proceed to the assessing lymph nodes of the head and neck. 
lymph nodes to assess are the following preocurricular nodes, postauricular nodes, occipital, tonsillar, submandibular, submental nodes, superficial cervical nodes, posterior cervical nodes, deep cervical chain nodes, and lastly, supraclavicular nodes. So now I am going to perform the procedure called Snellen chart test where the, my patient will cover either her left and right eye. So mom, can you cover your um, the other eye? Thank you. So just read what is indicated in here. E. H. So this test N. was to determine D. the distant visual F. equity. N. So the P. findings was T. the client was X. able to Z. distinguish what the person U. with normal Z. vision can distinguish D. with 20 feet T. away. F. D. T. F. P. D. H. Now I am assessing the iris and pupil. I inspect the shape and color of the iris and size and shape of the pupil. I am inspecting for the auricle, tragus, and lobule. Inspecting for the size, shape, and position. Now I am palpating the auricle and mastoid process. Just assume that I am using an otoscope. We are going to inspect the external auditory canal. Now I am doing the whisper test. So let's proceed to the Rhine test. Let's just assume that I'm using a tuning fork. Let's proceed to the mouth. I am inspecting the lips, the lip consistency and color. Inspecting the teeth and gums. And checking for the lower gingiva. Opening the mouth wide to check the buccal mucosa. Assessing the ventral surface of the tongue and inspecting the side. Let's proceed to the nose, inspecting the internal structure. Palpating for the frontal and maxillary sinuses. Noting for the red glow and positioning for transmilution of maxillary sinuses. Now let's proceed to the anterior thorax. I am inspecting for the shape and configuration, inspecting for the position of the sternum, and watching for sternal retractions, and inspecting for slope. Now I am observing the quality and pattern of respiration.